Lucy Kirkwood's The Children centers on two retired nuclear engineers who receive a surprise visit from a former colleague. We sat down with the playwright to chat about how the drama sheds light on some hot topics. When the play starts, we find ourselves in an isolated cottage somewhere on the coast of England in an area that's subject to a lot of erosion. The coast has been crumbling away. And we meet these two people who are living in a space which is not their home. They've decamped there after a local disaster, which we find details about, uh, details out about during the course of the first part of the play. For me, the title is a bit of a question about who, who are the children that the play is talking about. And to some extent, it's the the people on stage have a lot of conversation about their own children and the sense of the generations that have come after them. But for me, um, there's certain parts of the play where they are the children. There's lots of questions in the play about agency and, you know, be, what is the state of being a child? The state of being a child is to be powerless and to feel like you can't affect your world. And the whole play is a conversation about how do we affect our world. Well, particularly with climate change, what I was not interested in writing was uh, a finger-wagging play that was about my generation saying to an older generation, look what you've done and aren't you terrible people because I don't believe that. I believe that if I'd been 20 in 1970 I would may have made the similar choices to the ones that the characters make in the place. I'm always very interested in dramatising people within systems rather than indicting the people themselves. Kirkwood is thrilled all three performers from the sold out London production are reprising their roles on Broadway. I think it's a socialist play and they are people who behave socialistly in, in a rehearsal room. So Ron Cook, Francesca Annis, Deborah Finlay, are all, they're all old friends and I think you get a lot of that on stage. You get a sense of a history with those people and that's really gorgeous. They're all very gifted comedically which for me is really important. The play is a serious play and the whole structure of it is about not letting us wriggle out of that at the end of the day but I hope that along the way everyone's going to have quite a good time because those people are quite funny. The way the play is structured and the story is told is a reaction to this very fast way we all live our lives now and it's about slowing down and it's about having space for us to think about the meanings of our actions and um, what we do about that and hopefully what it does is create some, creates a space for people in a really fast moving world to just sit and be in a theatre and, and be with these characters as they struggle with the things that all of us are struggling with. <laughs>